Tom, GDNF is a naturally occurring growth factor that is very important in differentiating stem cells during our development into dopamine cells. We've also treated five patients and we've delivered the growth factor into the brain using pumps which are implanted in the abdomen and then they're connected to tubes which then deliver the growth factor directly into the brain. We have seen within a few months quite significant improvements in the patient's function, in the mobility and what they're able to do. We've also been studying the dopamine receptors in the brain using a scan called a positron emission tomography scanner. And here we attach a radioisotope onto dopamine, inject it into the body and see where it goes. And we have seen an increase in the number of terminals in the part of the brain that becomes increasingly deficient of terminals in Parkinson's disease. We've seen a 30% increase where we might normally see a 20% fall off per annum. And that's a very strong indicator that we are actually reversing the disease process. When will this be available to the general public? The first thing that needs to be done is to incorporate large numbers of patients to see whether they're going to be significant side effects. These things take about four or five years. Could you make it four years and not five years? <laughs> I'm sick to death of five years. <laughs> well, four and a half. Yeah, <laughs> so what other differences Stephen Gill's treatment made to you? Independence. I do a great deal more on my own. Prior to the surgery, you would never see me out of the house without a friend. That's what I have now, movement. Being able to move at any time. If I can just tell you an example, one that brings it really home. In the mornings, prior to the surgery, I would crawl to the kitchen. think first pills of the day, whereas now I get out of bed and I walk as well as anyone. I walk as well as anyone. No. I can see from your eyes how you feel about that. We've got the drive and the determination, but it's almost impossible to do things if you can't, can't find a bed to put the patient in. I mean, this, this absolutely exasperates me. It doesn't take a scientist to see the sort of improvement to people's lives you're making, and yet you're not being funded. Is the government doing enough to help you? It's complicated because the intellectual property regarding GDNF is owned by an American biotech company, and if groups such as the MRC or the Welcome put in large sums of money to demonstrate the efficacy of this drug, then the people who ultimately benefit financially are going to be the American Biotech Company. Now, if the American Biotech Company pour large resources into this, then they equally may be undermined by stem cell technology, which will take away their market. So there's a big balance of, sort of science versus money versus government and so on. So it sounds as though there's a bit of a stalemate which all comes down to money and, and is stopping what to me sounds most exciting. I don't think it's stopping it, I think people are moving cautiously. <laughs> <laughs>